in the aftermath of using a firearm in a public environment, I may know exactly the context of just what took place. I may know that that was a bad guy that needed to be stopped because they were trying to hurt me or somebody that I care about. But the other people inside of that environment may be completely clueless on what just took place. There's loud noises going off. Am I a bad guy or am I a good guy? People are starting to process that information. And here we are in 2017, more and more people have concealed carry permits. There's more and more people, more good guys that are carrying firearms inside of a public environment. But it's not just concealed carry permit holders. We also have off-duty law enforcement officers or uniform law enforcement officers. There's security guards that could be in businesses. So there's a lot of good people with guns that could look at me as someone uh, that could be potentially a bad person with a firearm. So in the aftermath of a shooting, it's important if you're not actually engaged in shooting that you don't look like you're shooting to other people. So a lot of people in the past have taught these extended ready positions where they're searching their environment or assessing that environment with that gun out at extension. The problem with that, or one of the problems with that, is that you actually still look like you're using a firearm. So if there's loud noises that are going off, and I have a gun out at extension, very likely I could start to look like that bad person if somebody doesn't know that context. So in, instead of having that firearm out extension, let's bring it in a whole lot closer. There's a lot of benefits in our high compressed ready position, but one of them here that in the aftermath, if I'm sitting there looking around at other people, trying to decide if they're better, somewhere better that I need to be, are there other people that I might need to actually use the firearm with? Are there other people that I actually care about that I need to be helping at that point? Or other people that could help me? And as I'm moving with that firearm, with it not at extension, it doesn't look like I'm actually shooting, which means it can cause hesitation on someone else's part, being that they don't think that they actually need to use the gun against me. We need to be critical thinkers. There's a lot that can go wrong where we could still get hurt in the aftermath of a public environment shooting. So when you're out working on your skills, keep that in mind, work on that high compressed ready position. Thanks for watching. For other videos on aftermath, be sure to check out the website, personaloffensenetwork.com.